Today, we're going to be balancing the equation of ethene, which is C2H4, and it's a gas, plus oxygen, gas, right, O2, and that will produce carbon dioxide gas, which is CO2, and water, which is H2O. This is a classic combustion reaction. I already wrote out our little chart here, and all of the elements that I see that are on both sides of the equation, in this case we have carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, and now we just have to write down how many we're starting with, and then we can get to the balancing. Let's start with the left-hand side. For the carbon, I see that there's a two here, which means that I have two carbons, so I'm gonna put a two here. For the hydrogen, there's a four next door, so that means that I have four hydrogen. And then for the oxygen, there's a two next door, so I have two oxygen starting off on the left-hand side. Let's do the same thing for the products. In this case, there's only one carbon. There's no subscript next to it, so that means that there's one. Now be careful for the oxygen. You have oxygen in both places on this side, so you have to add them together. Literally, there's an addition sign here. There's two oxygens plus there was only one here, right? There was no subscript. So two plus one is three. You have three total oxygens on your product side starting off. And then coming back to the hydrogen, here's my H. I have two of them, so I have two hydrogens. Always balance the one that's easiest to balance. So for example, it's easy to turn my lower number one into my higher number two, right? By multiplication. One times what will get me to two? Yeah, one times two. And the number that you stated is going to be the coefficient for the element that you're you know, trying to balance. In this case, it's carbon. So I'm gonna put a two in front of the CO2. Now, you just gotta play fair. If you put a coefficient in front of a compound, that number has to get distributed between all the elements in that equation or that, you know, that compound. So I have two carbons now, so I'm going to cancel out the one. I'm going to put a two. That's what we wanted. But now I have, keep in mind, I have oxygen here plus more oxygen here. There was one oxygen here, right? And now how many total oxygens are going to be here? Two times two, which is four. So I have four total oxygen plus one. I now have a total of five oxygens. So let's just cross out the three and put a five. And now... Let's try to balance another element, because the carbons are now balanced. Let's go to the hydrogens. Always go from the lower number to the higher number. So two times what will get me to four? Yeah, two times two. And that number that you stated is going to be the coefficient of the element that you're trying to balance. So in this case, I'm going to put a two. Now you got to be fair again, right? This two needs to be distributed between the hydrogen and the oxygen. So I now have a total of four hydrogens, which is what we wanted. Two times two is four. And then I'm going to distribute that two to the oxygen. Now there's two total oxygen here plus the four total oxygen from before, right? So four plus two is now six. So cancel out the five, put a six here. And now we're looking good, right? Seems like I can get to six by doing two times what? two times three, and that number goes in front of the, in this case, it's the molecule that has the oxygen. So I'm gonna put a three here, and then two times three is now six. And all of the elements on both sides are balanced. So this is my final equation. I have one C2H4 plus three O2s, and that'll produce two CO2s and two H2Os. Guys, what do you think? Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. And I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Keep studying hard. And I'll see you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.